I'm heading home from the Elkhorn Antique Flea Market. I found some good stuff, so stay tuned. Hey, how's it going? Yeah. <laughs> I'll listen to any of them. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. You have a good day. So that was the Elkhorn Antique Flea Market. It happens four times a year in Elkhorn, Wisconsin. If you're into old things and antiques, definitely check it out. It can be hit or miss on the vintage toys, but this time I lucked out. So let's go see what I got. 
The first thing I grabbed was this six inch Michael Knight action figure that came with the Knight Rider set. I do already have the Knight Rider set with Michael Knight. Um, this guy was laying on a table with a bunch of dollhouse furniture and dolls. And when I picked him up to look at him, the vendor told me I could have all the doll stuff for $20. And I said I was only just looking at this action figure. And he let me have it for a dollar. Apparently Michael Knight was the dad of the dollhouse family. Kit old buddy, I'm back! I finally escaped my family in that horrible pastel dollhouse. Hello, Michael. I didn't think you would ever come back. Who the heck are you? I'm Michael Knight. No, I'm Michael Knight. Kit! The next thing I picked up was this 1987 G.I. Joe lunchbox. It comes with a thermos. It features the Defiant on it. And my favorite G.I. Joe character, Croc Master. Then I bought a couple of vintage Kenner Star Wars figures. I've got R2-D2 with sensor scope here. Uh, these seem to be getting more and more expensive, especially with stickers that aren't all rubbed off. So I had to grab this guy for cheap. Um, it's got some initials on the bottom. Cam, if you're looking for your R2, I have him. Then there is Lumat here. He's one of the last 17 Star Wars figures. He's missing his quiver and his bow, but for $10 for a last 17 figure, I had to grab him to add to my Ewok village. Then I found this The Legend of the Lone Ranger metal lunchbox from 1980. It is from the film The Legend of the Lone Ranger, which, if you know, is the uh, Lone Ranger that the Gabriel toy line was based on. Uh, so I basically bought this as a backdrop for my action figures. It's in really good shape with some nice artwork on all sides. So let's take a look at what this looks like with the action figures. Looks pretty good. Nice little diorama with the figures and the lunchbox. Uh, this is probably how I'm going to have it set up on my shelf for display. The last thing I bought was this vintage Masters of the Universe Cyclone. Um, he's in very good condition. He's got those nice bright primary colors. Um, he comes with his shield here and he still has his lenticular sticker that is often missing. Pretty neat how that works, like a little radar there. Here is Cyclone's action feature. He's got a little wheel on his waist here that if you spin it just right, his upper torso spins like a tornado and he can knock over the bad guys. So that's it. Like this video if you like this video and subscribe for more toy hunts here at the Toy Cave. Thanks for watching.